Am I the a-hole stories? Am I the a-hole for being honest with my nieces about the reality of my career success? I just turned 41. I am very successful in my career in a very male-oriented field with all the expectations and stigma that entails. I've been with my boyfriend for three years. He's not interested in getting married, and at this point, that's fine. Everyone assumes this was my dream and that I'm happy, but it couldn't be further from the truth. I know there are women who live for this and want to be where I am, and I applaud them for it. It's just not me. I wanted to be a wife and mother, and have a just okay job, or even just skills so that I could support me and my kids if something happened. I was overjoyed to get married when I was 24, and the happiest day of my life was the birth of my son. He died of cancer just after he turned one and my husband died a year later, leaving me a widow just before my 27th birthday. I've never been close to my family for reasons that have varied over the years. I have friends, but they got their own families and lives. I had nothing, except for my career. I threw myself into work and found the ability to rise. Having a woman on their team looked good for PR, and a woman that didn't have any, pesky women things, was their ideal. I finally started dating my boyfriend and we aren't using protection, but I am well aware that the clock is at midnight. He is close to his family, especially his sister. My boyfriend's sister, who is stay-at-home mom of five, has been really pushing for a mentor to her two daughters for years, and finally got her chance to push me into talking to them. I've never wanted to, because I'm not proud or happy of where or who I am. So, when I was finally pushed into speaking, I told them this. Yes, women can and should pursue whatever career they want, but my success isn't because I had a dream and worked hard, it's because my life was so empty and painful that I needed something else to think about. I didn't want to be the high-powered career or woman, it's just what I had to do. Being a CEO, not my job title, means nothing to me. Their mother tried to steer the conversation by suggesting that I wouldn't give it all away now that I have it though, but I didn't let her, and clarified that I would give it all away to have a family of my own. Honestly, if it would bring me my late husband and a healthy version of my son back, I would quit my job tomorrow and forget the last 15 years. Now his entire family is mad at me for enforcing gender roles and making it seem like being a stay-at-home mom, which every woman in his family besides me are, is the only way for a woman to be happy. I wasn't saying that. They asked for my experience and I gave it. Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. People shouldn't ask questions that they don't want honest answers to. Really, sister-in-law should have just hired an actor if she wanted her daughters to hear specific things. Not the a-hole. You still sound like a wonderful mentor and person because of your honesty and transparency, but she can't push an agenda she wants on you. Agree. Mentors are more than rah-rah cheerleaders to tell people how to be successful, whatever that means to a given person. They are people themselves with a whole host of experiences to share. Not every mentor is a fit for the mentee. You can't push an agenda on a mentor and think it's going to work out. Not the a-hole. Everyone sucks here. Look, you should have been really blunt with your sister-in-law about what you'd say if pushed. And she should have backed off when it was clear you weren't down. So, this is just crap all around, because neither of you acted correct. Obviously, you shouldn't have lied, but there were quite a few ways to gracefully eject yourself from this expectation, before it came to lying. It sounds like these girls have great examples of traditional gender roles being fulfilling from their family. What they wanted was to let their girls see there were other fulfilling options available as well. You weren't the right pick for that goal. I will go as far as you're the a-hole. Sister-in-law had no reason to even expect this answer. OP herself says how everyone thinks she's happy and accomplished. As a smart woman, OP should have understood what kind of mentor and inspiration sister-in-law was looking for her daughters, and OP backstabbed her when she came with an unexpected script without a warning. OP is clearly suffering, but chose to unleash her frustrations on the wrong people. It may also seem like she resents sister-in-law for having the life she wanted, why else mention that sister-in-law has five kids that are not relevant to her story. Another alternative would have been to share her story, but in a more balanced way, weighing the pros and cons of both career options. Talk about the great stuff she accomplished and how many dream of that, and reassure the nieces that it's all about being able to make their own choices. Now for the next story. Am I the a-hole for leaving my mother's 50th birthday party after what she said about my girlfriend? So, for some backstory, 
My mom was raised very privileged by her parents and had a very luxurious lifestyle growing up, and my girlfriend has been practically living on her own ever since she turned 18 while living off metaphorical crumbs with her grandmother in her younger years. My girlfriend, 22 female, and I have been dating for over a year, and we do in fact love each other very much. My parents and my girlfriend get along, but my mom doesn't understand the mentality my girlfriend has. My mom questions her methods and sometimes doesn't like her attitude, which is straightforward, but never has any harmful intentions. My girlfriend pretty much grew up on her own without any guidance, learning everything on her own, while my mom had practically everything handed to her. My mother threw her 50th party today, and we have a few family and friends over. She's a bit tipsy at this point. She was giving a speech about everyone and how deeply each of them has impacted her life. At the very end of it, she looks at me and says, I'm so blessed to have an amazing son, and I hope one day you meet someone and fall in love with someone as much me and your father have. Backstory, she said this for sympathy points as my father and mother have a very rough and not healthy relationship. I replied I have, and I couldn't be happier. And she replies, yeah, about that, and everyone starts laughing. I'm infuriated at this point and grab my stuff and leave. She texts me later that night asking why I left. I don't respond and she leaves me texts saying, you're being a selfish butt for leaving me on my 50th. You could have at least said bye to everyone. I don't reply and I don't intend on it either. So am I the a-hole? Not the a-hole. That was totally off base for your mother to say. If you love your girlfriend and she loves you, your mom has no right to talk to you that way. That sounds like a really toxic situation, so it was brave of you to stand up for yourself and your girlfriend. Thank you. I wanted to say more, but I didn't want to ruin her birthday. I know I should have, but I was practically put on the spot and basically flighted in a fight or flight situation. Nah, I think you handled this perfectly. You did stand up for your girlfriend with your words. That is enough fight. Doing anything more would have been unnecessary. Leaving after, just shows how serious you are. They don't need to like your girlfriend, but they do need to respect her. You were the bigger person here, and handled the situation really well. Not the a-hole. More people need to support their significant other in this way. I know. My ex's mom told her, the only thing she could have done worse than bring home a Jewish guy, was to bring home a, racist slur against black people, you know the one. My ex said nothing, I never had any support from her. Not the a-hole. Good for you for sticking up for your girlfriend. You mom sounds like the a-hole, don't let her tell you that alcohol was the excuse. You came to the party. I would think that would be the primary objective. Did you make a scene when you left? Good night everybody. I'm out of here, or did you just silently leave? I silently left. My blood was boiling at this point, and I would have definitely caused a scene if I stayed any longer. The next story is titled. Am I the a-hole for kicking my boyfriend's friend out of our house? I've got an illness which causes me to have extra painful periods. It sucks, and I lay in bed for 5 days and I'm not able to do much. I have this wonderful boyfriend. He gets my medication, he gets food, he gets extra blankets, gives me a thousand kisses to make me feel slightly better. The most important part, he gets me tampons. Last night I was feeling very ill, I had been vomiting all day and was in no stay to go to the supermarket. A friend at my BF showed up unannounced to drink a beer with him. I said that it was fine, because I was going to lay in bed anyway. After I took a shower, I realized that my tampons and pads were almost empty. So, I asked my boyfriend to please go to the supermarket to get some, because I would not get through the night without them. Then his friend started laughing and said, what the hell? Are you getting female products for her, she can go herself. We were both looking at him angrily. I said I can't go myself. I'm too sick for that. He said a period is not a sickness. My boyfriend got up and said that he was going to supermarket. The friend got mad and said, I'm here now and you need to spend time with me, and I'm not going to get her gross diapers. That's when I lost my cool and sent him out, and told him he was not welcome anymore. He got extremely mad at my BF and called him all night to tell him that I'm stupid, and that he needs to let me go because I'm forbidding him to spend time with his friends. I cried all night and my boyfriend said that I was not being an a-hole but I feel I might have overreacted by sending him away. Edit, yes, I've already been diagnosed and had four surgeries already so we know the drill here. I only get two periods per year so that makes it doable. And don't worry, I normally don't send him out to get it and make sure I have enough. 
But we have lived together for seven years and when he is getting groceries, he takes them with them, and when I'm in desperate need, he will go to the store. Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. He was disrespecting and making fun of you, it's your house, and he was acting entitled to your boyfriend's time despite showing up unannounced. Props to your boyfriend though, he sounds lovely. Agreed, respect to the boyfriend for sticking up for you, I was expecting you to say he got angry too or something. No, he never gets mad at me for wanting to be alone. He knows he can always go out with friends, not right now because of COVID, even if I'm having a bad day, but he always stays here to take care of me. We have been together for 8 years, and I got sick at 6 months of dating and he did not even hesitate to not leave me. He is really the best. I always get this major mood swings and he just lets me have them, and knows that I'm not being myself at that moment. He never gets mad. Sometimes he is frustrated, because I'm in so much pain and he can't do anything about it. I know he always got my back and supports me no matter what. So aside from the things I want to say about how pads are not diapers, how even women with normal periods can experience cramps so severe they can't stand, and the fact that you were sick because you were vomiting, I'm instead going to focus on the fact that you need to feel comfortable in your own home. If someone comes into your home and insults you, and insults your boyfriend for caring about you, then you have every right to kick that person out of your house. Not the a-hole. Normal periods should not cause you to not be able to stand. I spent years believing that my pain was normal, because women are told periods hurt and doctors told me the same. Normal period cramps shouldn't interfere with your daily life at all. It should be slight cramping and not actual pain. If you're in pain during a period, please see a gynecologist. And make sure it's one who will listen to you and not brush you off. I lost 10 years of my life to normal period pain that caused me to be in almost constant pain and was, in fact, nothing but normal. Not the a-hole, that friend seems very entitled if he believes that he can just arrive unannounced, demand your boyfriend to spend time with him, and then yell at him for being a nice person to you. That honestly sucks and the friend deserved to get kicked out. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hole for saying that I find public engagement proposals tacky after my boyfriend's sister's fiancé proposed to her in public? My boyfriend's sister got engaged a few weeks ago. Her fiancé proposed to her by driving up to her apartment at 6.30 a.m. with the words, Will you marry me? pasted on his car and serenading her with his guitar plugged into an amplifier, so almost the whole complex could hear him sing and pop the question. I wasn't there, but I saw the video on social media and congratulated them. My boyfriend and I talked via instant messaging that night and I told him that if he ever proposes to me, please do not do it in public. He asked why and I said that I personally find public proposals tacky, and I would prefer to have some privacy so there's no social pressure. He agreed and said that he'll keep that in mind. Note that this was a private conversation we had via messaging app. Now I'm not sure what happened, but my boyfriend's sister ended up reading our conversation one way or another, and now she's angry, because she said I said mean things about her proposal behind her back. I told her that I have nothing against how her fiancé proposed to her, and I never even talked about her proposal, I just told her brother that I don't like public proposals in general, so he'll know better than to go the public route in case he would ever propose to me. Also. It's not like I told a bunch of people that her engagement is tacky, I only told my boyfriend not to propose to me publicly in our private conversation, because he was the only person who was going to be involved in our engagement, if there was going to be any. Am I the a-hole? Now for the top comments. You're not at fault here, but you need to have a conversation with your boyfriend about why he told his sister what you said. Not the a-hole. Or why she snooped. Not the a-hole. If she responds to a private conversation that she was never expected to see then it's on her. OP has a right to her opinion, and it's not like she said it to her. I think it's more likely that her boyfriend told his adult sister what his girlfriend said. 6.30 AM? I'd be pissed if I was her neighbor. Not the a-hole. I'd be the person opening their window to scream, shut the f up, at them. Even if it was a proposal directed at me. Not the a-hole. You can have a different opinion on proposals. Are you sure your boyfriends didn't tell his sister? It seems strange that she would just happen to read a private message. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.